In this video, I'm going to be going over the huge market crash happening right now in Season 7 of NBA 2K23. My team, as you guys know, yesterday we did get the new Season 7 dropping, and that came with new Enfuego packs that do include tons and tons of new Dark Matters. The most Dark Matters we've got in packs from a, pro from a promo drop the entire year. Guys like James Harden, Jonathan Isaac, Pau Gasol. We got two new Invincible cards in packs, Invincible Magic Johnson, DeMontis the bonus uh, Dark Matter, Dark Matter Joe Johnson, and and then also invincible Giannis. So we got two new invincibles, Giannis and Magic, and then also other pretty good Galaxy Opals like Joakim Noah, Miles Turner, Danilo Gallinari, Paul Millsap, Steve Francis, Danny Green, all around a very solid content drop, but I would say really top heavy in the fact that we got two new invincible cards that both go for crazy amounts of MT. I see Giannis around the million MT mark, and I see Magic most times around, I would say six to 700,000 MT, maybe even a little bit more. So two new really expensive cards put uh, being put into the game and this just caused a lot of dark matters and a lot of galaxy opal cards to drop in price like you look at joe johnson he's going to be a buy now like all these new dark matters are only around 40 to 50 thousand mt like i think joe johnson is actually around like 35 40k maybe even a little bit cheaper you know cards like demontis Sabonis, he's around 40 50 thousand mt pal gasol is only about 50k so these new dark matters in the game are only 50 thousand mt but if we look back to a couple weeks ago you know Dirk Nowitzki I don't think he's a buy now is he like he might be a buy now like just at 100,000 MT but a lot of these cards you know when they drop as dark matters they're becoming buy nows because of how many new dark matters are in the packs and also the boosted odds as well because dark matters have been flying out of these packs at a five percent pull rate I mean on my account I think I pulled at least like six or seven dark matters and then also on my other accounts I think I pulled like in total yesterday around like 13 dark matters between three different accounts so a lot of dark matters are flying out of packs and that's caused some of these dark matters to become extremely cheap even james harden a new dark matter into the packs he's a buyout i'm pretty sure right he, he was a buyout earlier was that a snipe I saw him for earlier buy now that might have been a snipe to be honest uh, I'm not exactly sure I saw the one right there for 200,000 MT but I thought I saw James Harden as a buy now maybe I'm maybe I'm confused because I swear he was a buy now earlier but yeah he looks to be around 200,000 MT right now Jonathan Isaac he's going to be fairly expensive I think he's about 200,000 MT so a lot of new expensive cards but then also some really cheap dark matters being put into the game and if we look at some of the other top tier cards in my team we look at a guy like a Vince Carter he's been consistently going for around 250k maybe 300,000 MT I've consistently seen this card end for around 150,000 MT you know cards like Jalen Green Shea are just going to become even cheaper. Jalen Green's now down to like 35, 40,000 MT. Even a card like Shea, who's still a really good point guard, he's down to about, I think, like 65, 70,000 MT. So he's a little bit lower in price. Obviously, the Galaxy Opals, they're going to be down a ton. Like the Opals have just been plummeting in price. Marcus Gasol on like Wednesday and Thursday, he kind of went back up to like 35, 40K. Now Marcus Gasol is back down to under 20,000 MT, which is extremely good value for a Marcus Gasol card. If we also look at cards from the Hero set, we look at Hero Brian Scalabrini. He also somewhat rose back up to around like 75, 70k. Now he's down to about 40 to 45,000 MT. I actually bought a Scalabrini on my other account for only 35k, so he's fairly cheap. We look at a guy like Thurl Bailey. He's now down to like 30,000 MT. So just across the board, the Galaxy Opals, the Dark Matters are all down a significant amount, I would say, in Season 7. But now I do want to talk about when's the best time to sell your guys' cards, when's the best time to buy. I would say right now is starting to be a good time to look to maybe sell some cards if you guys wanted to not today i think today is still a decent time to buy cards because they're still relatively cheap but i would say sunday is probably going to be a decent time like sunday monday if you guys are holding on to some cards still i think might be a decent time to sell if you're looking to get off cards but i know a lot of people are looking to buy cards because it's a new season you know a lot of people want to be grinding unlimited for artists gilmore they want to be grinding for rick smith you know all the new cards in the game i know the new season brings a lot of hype to the mode so people want to be playing these games and that's why the market's going to go back up very very soon maybe not to where it used to be before you know the season five uh, season six super packs probably not to that level of like you know being that high of a market but 
I think eventually Sunday, Monday, maybe even Tuesday, Wednesday, the market will somewhat back recover. And I think that's going to happen fairly soon. My guess is probably like midday Sunday and Monday. We'll see a lot of these cards go back up a decent amount in price. But if you guys are looking to buy some cards, I think right now is a very solid time to do so. I mean, the market is all around. I would say fairly low compared to what it used to be a couple weeks ago. I mean, you got Tim Thomas's ending for super cheap. You got Luka Doncic's ending for super cheap. You look at cards like Taco Fall from season and five like i've seen this card end for pretty cheap he's around 200k right now but i've seen some cards uh, some tacos end for like 150 which is still fairly cheap for that card we look at you know derrick rose since he was in that limited thing now he's became a buy now because he was in that limited token market thing so now he's about 90,000 mt so just a lot of these cards have became you know buyouts you look at cards like joel Embiid, he's super cheap like he's basically a buy now where he knew when he used to not be a buy now same thing with paul george he's basically a buy now like a lot of these dark matters that were like hovering around the buy now price tag are now going to be buy nows for example paul george he's about 85 90 000 mt you look at penny hardaway i believe he's a buy now yeah he's a buy now too like there's just so many of these dark matters you know dropping in price you know may maybe not so much the top tier dark matters i know a lot of people just just look at the yao ming as they just look at the ben simmons as the Jokic, as the bull bulls yeah like those hero cards are going to hold their value because they're still some of the top tier cards in the game and i wouldn't be surprised if these guys really didn't go down in price because i still lock in from a new bull but i even saw if you guys follow uh kerr on twitter he just locked in from a new bull someone on twitter locked in from a new and he said all the cards are so much cheaper right now even these zero cards but sometimes they don't drop because they still do lock in for the best card in the game which is this dark matter lock in a new bull so i'm not really only looking at these cards and seeing if they drop i'm looking at all of these dark matters in the heroic set all the dark matters in these sets and then also mainly the galaxy opals right a card like ak he went back up to like 35k maybe 40 at the most he's now back down to under 20,000 mt i've seen this card for like 15k yeah right now he's about 15,000 mt like that is crazy for ak47 who's still a top level small forward is only 15,000 mt we look at the pink diamond peter he's still going to be relatively cheap you know under 10,000 mt if you look at some of the playoff cards you go to the uh, playoffs and you can see a card like a brooke lopez he is so cheap now i saw his pink diamond earlier for only about 35k but i think his dark matter is now around 50,000 mt a dark matter brooke lopez who is still a top level center in the game for only 50k I mean, that is really, really good value. So if you guys are looking to buy some cards and you're watching this on Saturday, I still think it's a relatively good time to be buying some cards. I would say the market's still fairly low. But then, like I said, I could see on Sunday the market's starting to pick back up and go back up a little bit in price on sunday you know maybe night it goes back up a decent amount and then i could see monday the market fully not rising back up to where it used to be but i could see the market going back up a decent amount and if you guys wanted to sell some cards you maybe had you maybe had you know just sitting in your collection and you wanted to sell i think sunday sunday or monday would probably be the best time to do so but if you guys are looking to buy cards always friday and saturday are the best times to do so and right now i think it's a great time to buy a lot of these cards whether it's galaxy or whether it is dark matters but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the market right now let me know what cards you guys are planning on buying what cards you guys are planning on selling and let me know what you guys think of season seven so far are you guys enjoying it after the first day what game modes are you grinding let me know all the type of stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace